definitely a lot harder than it looked. Good morning, Bob. <laughs> did you remember? Did you do that back in your days there, Mr. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought that might be a tribute to uh, Toby Keith or something, the red solo cup that you guys were monkeying there you with. There go, yes. That's what I thought you guys were doing, but... Uh, no. <laughs> but there was nothing in the red solo cup, so then no, I knew... No, there wasn't. That, no, they're I, empty. Oh, that's... Not, it's not, too bad. <laughs> not the way to, that's not the best way to juggle red solo cups. <laughs> Let's take a look on this morning of what's going on in agriculture. E15 ethanol got some good news earlier this week at the National Ethanol Conference going on in San Diego. At that meeting, Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack said the Biden administration is about to approve a petition to sell E15 permanently across the country, not just in the summer. But he also said the permanent part of that declaration won't happen until 2025. For this summer, vendors will get waivers in order to sell the product to consumers. Back in 2022, governors in eight Midwestern states, including Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, and others, requested a change as called for in the Clean Air Act to sell E15 as well as E10 across the country. But the EPA has been dragging its feet on allowing year-round sales. Congress will also have to take some action to make those sales permanent year-round. Well, on January 30th, 12 weeks of testimony and cross-examination ended the hearings on reforming federal milk marketing orders. But the process is a long way from finished. A lot of people in the industry say changes need to be made sooner rather than later. Now some farm groups, like the American Farm Bureau Federation, have filed an emergency petition calling for the USDA to issue an emergency decision to put in place the higher of class one mover to protect dairy farmers from further losses while final changes in the orders are being considered. Now since the 2018 farm bill called for an average of class one mover to protect dairy farmers from further losses while final changes to the orders are being considered. Since 2018, the Farm Bill called for an average of, as we said, and that has cost uh, farmers a lot. The price spreads between Class 3 and Class 4 milk has cost dairy farmers $88 million in lost revenue in just the last two months of 2023, with total losses to farmers $1.2 billion since the 2018 Farm Bill became law. Unless the process is speeded up, no final decision on order reform is expected until later this summer at the earliest. And top cheeses from all over the world will soon be competing for the title of the world's best at the upcoming World Cheese Championship, March 5th through the 7th in Madison. This will be the 35th contest that is held every two years at the Monona Terrace Convention Center with the first two days open to the public with free admission. Over 3,000 entries of butter, cheese, and yogurt from about 30 countries and 33 states will be competing. The two-time defending champion, by the way, is a Gruyere variety from Switzerland. At the 2022 contest, though, Wisconsin did pretty good. Our cheesemakers won 45 best-in-class awards, followed by New York with 12. The winners will be announced about 2 p.m. on March 7th. Let's go to the market board where the funds sold off yesterday and that took those prices lower. Also, good weather in South America putting pressure on prices. Corn overnight down a fraction, sitting at 410 a bushel. Wheat down two at 581. Soybeans went up a penny overnight, 1172. But uh, yesterday morning that price was 1182. Dairy markets were mixed yesterday. The barrel cheese price was unchanged. Blocks fell three quarters of a cent. Butter held steady at 277 and a half a pound. Class three futures were also mixed. February unchanged. March down a penny at 1698. And April was up a nickel at 1720. Then prices July through December were mostly lower. So that's where we are this morning. And uh, I lost my normal headpiece here, so I got to use these earmuffs. But. Uh, <laughs> We'll see if we can't you get look it. Yeah, <laughs> don't I? <laughs> well, one thing about it, you don't eat ear and earmuffs this kind of weather, do you? No, you really don't. You look like you're about to like take off in uh, the wax helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, not a helicopter for me. Okay. <laughs> Have a good one, you, you guys. Too. Yeah. <laughs>